All right, let's create an interactive notebook using Stickity and Google Slides. A lot of times when um, I'm suggesting an activity like this, or if I'm leading a professional development session um, on an activity like this, a lot of the immediate feedback right at the beginning is, I don't like to do this in slides because students can just move things around. And then all of a sudden they've accidentally deleted something or can't see something anymore, and then it just turns into mass confusion in my classroom. Nobody wants that, right? So we are going to create this together and we're gonna make something that students can't move if you don't want them to move it. So hang them in there with me um, and let's build this together. So I have Stickity open on the side. If you don't have it open, you can go to extension, Stickity for slides and then open. We are gonna be using some premium features um, today. So if you don't have that, you may not be able to use some of it, but I would encourage still watching to see how you can do this with slides and other Stickity uh, stickers. Um, if you don't have Stickity, you can go to add-ons, get add-ons, and search Stickity from there. So I have mine open right here. The activity that we're going to make today is a math-related one, but this applies to every single, every single subject um, can do things like this. I used to use this a lot in computer science class. So we're going to put a little word problem up on here. So I'm just going to use a text box and, uh, and build that in there. All right, we've got our text in here. I'm going to go ahead and make that a little bit larger for students to be able to read. If you're using this on like a laptop screen, i.e. a student would be accessing this and editing from their computer, I would suggest 14 point at the minimum. I still think that's a little small, so I'm gonna move it to 18. Um, so we have our word problem here to stay active. Mia often swims laps in her neighborhood community pool. She swims 100 meters in two minutes and can swim even longer distances at the same time. Pace. Okay, so we've got our little word problem in here. We are going to add in a table that we want students to complete. So we can go to insert, uh, table, and then we're going to have four across and two down right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and edit this. All right, we have our table here. I'm gonna go ahead and move that down just a little bit so that we can give students some uh, instructions for what to do next. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my content support library. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna find instructions. I would like to place this right inside my slide here. Oops, that's probably a little too small. All right, my instructions going to be to complete the table below. So all of this right now is using free stickity elements, so every single person can use these. Let's see. Um, I also want this to stand out just a little bit more, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this in with a light yellow, and just, I'm gonna hide that behind my instructions um, tab right here. I'm gonna right click, order, and then send to the back right here. So now we have, so we have our instructions right here. I'm gonna, whoops, I'm gonna go ahead and move that up. I'm also going to use color to kind of separate these a little bit more. So this number is already there. All right, so I'm going to make this so that students can't move anything that's on this screen right now. So I have this right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything. So I'm gonna click and drag to highlight everything. I'm going to cut, so Control X or Command X to cut, and then go to View Theme Builder, okay? Now you have all of these different slides that you can start to design. We're just gonna stick with this one that we have right here. I'm gonna highlight everything on this page, and I'm going to paste everything that I had originally on that first slide. Now, if you're looking in this film strip over here on the side, you can see that it's now visible within this slide, but look, nothing is clickable. So isn't that amazing? What I want students to do is only to type in right here. I don't want them to be able to move anything around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use shapes to do that. So I'm gonna do a little rounded rectangle and I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to signify that it's someplace to write by changing the color a little bit. I'm matching it on yellow on per, or to the yellow on purpose. Okay, oops, that's a little too thick for an outline. I'm matching it to the yellow on purpose. That way, the action in the user's mind, which is the student in this case, 
The action is to complete the table below. It's smart to associate that same color with the things that you're actually telling them to do. So I'm going to double click on this square and do dot, dot, dot right here. That's another way to signify, hey, something goes here. We're going to, I'm. this is purely for aesthetic, so this is not necessarily needed for everything students are doing. So we have one, two, three places for students to complete that table and demonstrate their knowledge. Now, the worst thing that's going to happen is they might accidentally move that um, shape around a little bit. No big deal, right? None of the main information has been affected or moved that way because you're using the theme builder, okay? All right, let's build a another. I just added a new page by hitting enter, by the way. You can select a page and then hit enter or space and it will add a new page for you. So I have a new blank page. We are going to use this information to create a new activity for students to do. So in my instructions, I'm gonna add some more right here. Maybe add in a little shape too. We're gonna add in a graph for them to actually graph out this, um, they're not and demonstrate their knowledge this way. So. Here we go. So those are my instructions right up at the top, impossible to miss. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to go to the math section. Um, let's say that this is for sixth grade, so I'm gonna click on six right here. All we need is this type of grid with the X and Y uh, on the left and bottom. We don't need negatives in this particular instance, so I have my graph right here. All right, we don't want students to be able to move this around though, so we are going to do the same thing that we did before. We are going to highlight everything, cut, view, theme builder. Now notice there's a different page that's highlighted, right? Sometimes it's uh, gonna stick with the page that you were designing earlier. You just have to go to a different page. So let's go to the next one down. I'm gonna highlight everything and hit delete. Now I'm gonna paste it all, paste in the exact same spot as what we had before. We have this right here. I'm gonna move this up just a little bit. That's bothering me. There we go. So we've got our um, graph right here with X and Y. We can also start to label these, right? So you may want to um, add in some text. All right, we have our numbers placed on our grid now. So all of this is going to be unmovable, locked in for students. So I'm gonna go ahead and you can close out of the theme builder by clicking this X in the top right corner. Now notice it didn't do anything to my page. This might happen to you too. Maybe your page did update, who knows? We're going to go to, if your page is still blank, we're gonna to go to layout and then look, it's just the wrong one that's selected. So all we have to do is just go back to this one right here. Now, we can't move anything on this which is awesome. And then underneath these graphs here, so if I have this page here where it's one, two, three, four coordinates that I'm asking students to um, go ahead and graph, I'm going to add four coordinates. So I'm just gonna add four that are the exact same. So I'm gonna add in this coordinate right here. I don't need them to be different colors. So one, two, three, four. And now students, the only thing that they can move is these coordinates on the page to demonstrate their knowledge. Super easy um, activity to create for students to be able to use their knowledge and not have to worry about like how to use something or how to not accidentally delete something on their slide or something like that. So, um, so this is a really easy way to create different activities. For, for math, we have all these number lines here. You could visualize word problems and have them kind of build things out based on what they see. There's a ruler to help with um, visualization as well. I hope you find this useful. Um, and if you are creating interactive lessons with Stickity, we would love to see them. So we're on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Tag us and we want to see what you're up to.